Salute, 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 salute. Salute to everybody in the building. Spoo Juice, I see you, fam. You know, wonderful Mar uh, Re. Salute, Queen. Lodi, what's good? What's good? What's good? What's oh, man, good? Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. You know, a lot of people probably running late. They done got blinded by the, by the <laughs> you know, okay. was out there staring all in the sky, you know, with the wrong, wrong equipment on. Man, oh man, shout out to the clips, man. They, uh, you know, ho hopefully nobody lost phone signal or none of that other stuff while the clips was going on. Cause you know that that was our. Uh, you, you ain't gonna check it, bro. What uh, you know, internet services and all that. You know, hopefully, you know, it was uh, from my understanding, everything went smooth. Uh. I ain't, you know, I ain't want to stick my head out and, and, and so much good, Lordy. get hit with uh, <laughs> all type of gamma rays and things. Flash, Lordy. Right. Low so salute, salute, salute. Long time, Lordy. Keep Nigga pushing. Boo, salute, Queen. Already. Uh, man, you know, we got some 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 wonderful things. Why salute, King? You know, uh, I'm going to drop the list for y'all. For y'all to come up here and politic with us on, on, on this, these couple topics that we got. But before we get this uh, show kind of on the road, what I want to do is, you know, always take, take a moment of silence for all those who lost uh, a loved one. Uh, you know, shout out to the, to the Wilder family again, man. That's uh, heartbreaking. You know, and, and anybody else who lost one, uh, anybody in the culture, uh, our brothers or sisters, man. Yeah, it look like they're going every motherfucking day, man. Every fucking day on social media. Man. Shit know, depressing, you know what I mean? I'm like, God damn, somebody up. Damn, damn, damn. So it's too many to really name. Like I said, somewhere along the line, I'm going to get a hold of one of these artists or graphic designers and let them do like a plaque. And we could show like the plaque. It's too many the for a plaque, man. What you going to just put rest in peace to everybody? Well, you know, everybody on that shit. Yeah, you know, man, we got to do something, man, because we're losing them a dime a dozen. But you know, just take take, take a couple seconds, and uh, we'll get on with the show. Oh, well. Salute, 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 salute. We will have it. Uh, see, that's that solar eclipse messing with your camera, your sound, your internet. You know. Probably got your foes in his face. Let me, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me copy this link real quick. Uh, what's going on, good peoples? You know, a lot of things, a lot of events had uh, transpired over the week. Shout out to Team RPC. You know, celebrated their 16th anniversary. You know, the event looked so cool. super, super dope. <clears throat> uh, bug, salute, King, already. You know the link is in the chat. You know y'all y'all pull up accordingly. We go uh, get this whole family discussion going on because uh these <laughs> these things these, uh, these two cases are, are definitely uh is gonna bring awareness and you know it's gonna shock a, shock a lot of people because you know a lot of things that they that they telling us uh for our safety and things of that nature. It's almost like do you compromise your safety for your uh you want to say your security or your, your your privacy is is your safety worth your privacy you know is, is with some of these companies you're gonna get one or the other you're gonna either be safe and they're gonna violate your privacy or you're not gonna be th that safe but you ain't got no privacy <laughs> you ain't a fucking matrix ain't no privacy okay that's just a word you know Ain't no, ain't no privacy. Let me make sure I drop the disclaimer real quick. Uh, just letting people know that under Section 107 Copyright Act, you know, 1976, allowances made for fair use purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. You know, the views and opinions expressed in the media comments on this channel are those of the speakers and authors and not necessarily anybody else. You know. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Top well, spoo spoo juice, you we're gonna need spoo juice to do some talking today, brother. Yeah, so, you, you pull it up, you're gonna have to run your mouth. 
Yeah, yeah, you got to talk, <laughs> you to talk a little bit. We got we got some uh these two topics that definitely need some assistance with uh per se. Yeah. Why salute King already? Dope man, super dope. Yeah, cool. wow, salute, salute. Salute. yeah listen, these, these these two topics, man. Hold on, let me let me um Top book, salute, Lordy. Salute, salute, boo. There we go. All right. Chip, salute. Big boo, yeah. salute. What's good, Lodi? Spoo juice, salute. Angie Baby, salute. Peace uh, to the chat. 617, salute. Already, man. ROPC in the building, as yes. always. Man, oh man, oh man. Listen. Let me, me uh seconds. Let me fire one up real quick. All right. <laughs> I don't see no. I'm uh oh, oh shoot. Nicky Boo, salute, Queen. We're going to have this great, great, great conversation. Is your safety worth your privacy or vice versa? Like, should, should, should your privacy be compromised in order to keep you safe? Anybody, any, anybody, you can chime in. And I'm, no, uh, no. Privacy, privacy oh. overrules safety. But also, I think in this country, we still got something called personal choice. So if you want to give up your privacy for safety, I think you got a right to do that. Okay. The okay. problem is, is when they make laws that you don't agree with, but this country is about majority rule. So, you know, if, if the majority vote for it, then we go with it. But like, I don't like when Congress just push it on us saying it's for the constituents and it's really for them. All right. Here's the thing, though. It's, it's always been something that where they create the problem, then they wait for you to ask for help, and then they, they give you a bunch of solutions that don't make no sense. So it's like, um, we'll, 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 es we'll escalate crime, and then or we'll, we'll let a lot of people get away with certain things, and then you, you're going to ask for, um, for some kind of help, and then we just start surveilling you. No, that's not, that's okay. not cool. Yeah, I don't I don't like the artificial intelligence on, only because you it's it's one thing to have man profile another man, but when computers start profiling you, we really lost. And when 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 artificial intelligence could make a mistake like that, that means the people that created that put that in there. I don't like the I don't I don't believe in conspiracy, but what I'm saying is the pro, <laughs> the information they use is is make it, it gonna paint a certain picture of black people. So whatever they do, I'm thinking it's going to affect black people in an adverse way more than the that's other a, people. That's a fact. Scope your mama salute. El Plaga salute, King. Listen, I'm, I'm gonna show this. I'm gonna show this first case, this first scenario. I'm gonna play the play the video uh, a little bit, and then we're gonna we're gonna chime in on it because I, I I honestly had no clue this was going on. Rock, I see you, King. Salute. But uh, you know, th this is real. This is not coming from. For me, this is not a, a legend. This is basically been reported and, and documented. So let me let me touch on this. Let me share my screen. Uh... Could be spying on you. your car. Could be spying on you, and at least one automaker is sharing that information. Let's go. I'm suggesting just Trump. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Linda Stouffer. A Henry County woman learned it was happening to her when yeah, her turn it up. I can't hear. Yeah, it's too loud. Warning others about the issue. New at six, Channel Two consumer investigator Justin Gray is live with how you can find out if your data has also been shared. Justin. Yeah, Linda. Tanika Clay requested her Lexus Nexus consumer file. This is it. More than 200 pages. Most of it from General Motors data about her driving from the onboard computer in her car come out so let me make sure i explain this for those who didn't hear this yeah because i didn't really hear it's imagine you go imagine you go buy a vehicle right right and they you know one of the selling features for the vehicle is listen you can get on star in, in the vehicle this way if your vehicle get lost you know if you lock your keys in the car we get you some assistance out there you know yeah, all, also, all, all the bells and whistles, right? Now, what they don't inform you is that it's like a computer. So it computes all of your driving habits. So if you're riding, no seatbelt on. If you're speeding, 
it's documenting all it and it keeps a file. But they share that file with the insurance company. So then the insurance company can come and say, well, listen, man, you got some bad job having, man. You know, on numerous occasions, no seatbelt on, you know, uh, you, you breaking too hard, you you doing X, Y, Z, we're going to raise your insurance premium. My lady got that in her car, but voluntarily to, to get her insurance down. Now, they tell you to get it down, but it, it keeps the report. I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna let him. I'm gonna let them finish telling about the report and and all this other stuff. No, this sounds different. When she got in her car, she put in there because she wanted her rates to go down. She want them to track her driving record. She must don't ever speed. She do speed. That's why she put that in there to stop getting tickets and get her insurance down. But no, I don't want to interrupt your video. Play the video. Okay, no, 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 no. Say cool salute, King. Let me uh run back to the video real quick. This is it. This is it. Hundreds of pages. Hundreds of pages. This is my LexisNexis consumer disclosure report. LexisNexis consumer disclosure report. Yeah, you gonna you gonna, you gonna, yeah, you gonna have to talk behind her, man, because the shit is yeah. long. I don't think anybody can hear. Called. Hundreds of pages of data on Tamika Clay's LexisNexis. Hundreds of pages. That means they've been recording. And recording and recording her pretty much her driving history from the time she had the vehicle. Credit report from her Chevy Camaro. Connecting to OnStar. She's learned the OnStar system is tracking things like acceleration events, high speed events, and hard break events. Hold on. So it tracks if you speed, if you brake too hard, you know. Pretty much any violations, they they're reporting this. They're supposed to tell you if they go to what they do with the they're supposed to tell you one if they keep the data and two if they use it or sell it to somebody. Cause they're not giving that to the insurance company free. They probably selling your information to you. Well, you know, it's it's just, listen, the fact that they even documenting this is crazy. It, you know, when I buy a vehicle, you know, I'm not buying a vehicle to give you my entire, you know, my entire life. And, it, it, you know, there's going to be times that I'm going to speed. There's going to be times where, you know, I might jump in the car and not have my seatbelt on for, for a, a, a few blocks or whatsoever. Um, I don't do feel you, like... Do you think that's in the fine print when they sign up for OnStar? Because, you know, a lot of times we don't read stuff. It, it might be. And, and, and let's just say it is. Now y'all know by being here today... If you have it, if you don't have it, you know, check behind it, go get a, a copy of it and read through it because it's amazing what what for them to volunteer that type of information to the insurance company. That means the insurance company and them already had a, a, a side deal. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. A lot of these companies that we give our information sell our information that's how we get robocalls that's how we get our uh, customers and all that bullshit calling our phone and all that junk mail right because again a, a cell phone is not listed when you get in uh what they call them when they call your your phone with that bullshit telemarketing uh, it's robocalls the scam calls and all of that when you get telemarketing calls on your cell phone your cell phone company sold your information you can't just randomly get nobody's cell phone number. Like before, you used to just go on the phone book and just call people all day. Now, mostly, most people don't even have a landline in their house. Most people do not have a landline landline in their house, especially young people. Thirty five and under go strictly cell phone. This is crazy, man. How they get your information? That information? How do they know to send you? How do the progressive know to just send you some shit to sign up for their insurance and you don't even drive? Yeah, yeah, you know. Uh, because right. they definitely know. sell the information, Facebook, all of them too. The, the actually, that, that is illegal though. When, when, because like when you sign up for some of this stuff, the law says consumer laws tell you they gotta let you know what they're gonna do with your information. So, some of them, but tell most you, people don't read the fine print, they do tell let you. Ask, let me ask you a question Do y'all know what the Patriot, Patriot Act is? It got a lot of stuff in it, it's not just one thing. No, do, do you know what the Patriot Act is, right? No, break it down for us. That was passed in 2001 after 9-11, where the government is, yep. allowed, is allowed to spy on you. Exactly. 
Was that, that definitely after 9 11? It was really a wrap. No, but it's other stuff with that. That's what I was saying. It's not just that. It's like other stuff. That's part of it, though. That that's what Chip was going on with. Do you want to give up your security for safety? So that that part right there, we ain't had nobody voted for that. The all, government all, just did it. All, all but, they do is, but, but look what happened. We really don't want them to be able to just fly planes into shit. But nah, like, all, that, that but all they gotta do really is they do domestic that terrorists. That shit into like a football field or you know what I mean? Like so. It's right. certain shit, like what they call a boom. They use national security to get away with a lot of bullshit, yeah. but national security is a real thing. All right, hold on. Let me let me get to the end of this video because is it, is they, they explain really? more at the end uh, of what they were trying to do or what, what's going on. And I really want everybody to to to, to get what's 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 happening. And GM shared six hundred three of those entries with data brokers monster app you know you're thinking safety and if so if it gets stolen but certainly not spying on me and sending information to the insurance company it's the exact same scenario described yeah, in the world 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 just one day after clay received her lexus nexus report this month clay requested the report because her insurance had gone up 80 percent and when she tried to shut you time it out right here her insurance went up 80 percent from those reports that they're sending, first of all, they send it to it's her credit report. report though, Chip, because she actually driving that way. You got to drive safe, though. You can't really just do whatever you want in your car. No, but what he's saying is she wasn't aware that that was on there. So any new car, really, any car from 2015 on, all of these new cars got that, whether so you wait, know wait, it or wait, not. Wait, 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 wait. Let me let me understand. Because OnStar is a service, a paid service. Yeah, you telling me that OnStar is watching people without them having the service? No, it's not, not just, it's not just let, me break it down little, let me just break it down. It's, a little one, it's not just OnStar. Two, nah, it's it's nah. it's the stuff that they have in your car for you to have Bluetooth. No, but that's a lawsuit. You cannot, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't surveil me without telling me. No, no, that hold right on. there is illegal. Hold, so, hold on now. Let me let me make sure I'm, you understand this. If you got navigation in your car, right? Yes, navigation yes. warns you when they got speed traps. Yes, they do. Okay, so if it's legal for them to warn you that there's a speed trap ahead, it's legal for them to document that you're driving way faster than you should be. But no, the navigation, it's not the navigation legal for you to do you that without you. telling me. You cannot secretly spy on somebody. That's not secretly telling you. Just, you know why you pushing no. you you with me. Do you see where we headed at in this world with that that uh <laughs> what's all that shit uh, on like with the, the AI and how they about to be able to track your every move like look, every little thing you do so it's not it's not even really that that's what I'm trying to tell you about the Patriot Act. It's the same thing. They could spy on you illegally. It has nothing to do. They, okay. All we gotta do is lay you domestic terrorists, and we could we could we could tap. Well, once they label you, it's not illegal no more. If they label you, it's not illegal. But you don't have. You don't gotta be a terrorist. You don't got. What what, what makes me a domestic terrorist? I guess whatever their criteria. I'm not. I'm yeah. not. I'm not. I'm not disputing what you're saying. Well, my my point is that if they label you Ill illegal spying, is if they don't say nothing. They just watching you. And listening to you talk to your grandmother, what that, that's illegal spying. What do you but think if they illegal? label you a domestic terrorist, then you know all your <clears throat> all your rights go out the window right there. What, there. what do you think Edward so had uh, Edward Snowden was getting in trouble for for telling people exactly what you just saying? Why? For saying so exactly that, what you're saying. They was watching you for no reason. Yeah, but they, they wasn't prosecuting nobody on that. You when you bring no, that, this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. You, you're you're one hundred percent right, and he's never going to come back to America because of it. So again, I'm not saying you got bad information. I'm just saying that they never use that against nobody because legally you can't get them in court with that. Now I don't know what they're doing with the information or whatever, but again, he fucked up because he told other shit too. No, no, he just, he not just only did he say they spying on us. He said they spying on other countries that you're not supposed to tell. Now, now you're talking about national security, whether it's legal or not legal. So he fucked himself by trying to some some information. Like again, see, like like black people, conspiracy people, right? They always be like, oh, the government, the Fed, they gonna get me. They gonna, but they don't really have nothing that you want. Like, we're not really doing shit that the government wants. 
But he did some shit that the government wanted, and they acted his ass. He can't never come back to America. He's gonna get the death penalty. In the, the Julian Assange too. He the same thing. Mm. Uh, whether it's true or not, you can't tell America's secret. That's espionage. I, that's going to you can't do it. And whether, my, whether, opinion, whether it's true or not, you can't do it. In my opinion, why the only thing the government wanted is to keep us in line. Once we step out of line, it's a problem. Uh, allegedly. I'm, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna yeah, say allegedly. 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 You know, allegedly. I don't you know. I don't disagree because you know we've been through a lot. So all the black leaders that died, you know the government had a hand in there somewhere, right? So I'm not disputing nothing you saying. Rizza but, Islam got Rizza Islam got banned from for what for saying something about vaccinations and speaking the truth. And once you step out of the line, you it's gonna be a problem. All right, hold on, let me let me play a little bit more of this video. So we are kind of around, still in chat. An insurance broker sent a denial letter and suggested she check her Lexus Nexus records to see why. Oh, this so hold on. Not records. only that. So after they raised her insurance, she tried to get insurance from another company, and then they told her denied. Why? They got a copy of this report, and they told her, "Listen, you need to go check the report." She need to sue if she if she don't have the service of OnStar, right? She because when the you service. Start, but I'm saying the paid service. When you buy a car, OnStar service don't come free. You got paid to use OnStar. Just like you got paid to use the satellite radio. Yo, is it money? Is it money? Look, have you ever gotten they, the vehicle? They still have the device in your car, which is how they're going to track you. Look, say you, you get it. You the bought the car today. Thing. You don't what want OnStar is... today. You want it next week. It's already in your vehicle. Yo. Mm -hmm. Anytime what I'm you want to use is, if they're using that information without telling you, they do tell you that's the right. lawsuit. That's what I'm saying. This right. lady can probably sue on star for right. taking the information and for spying on. I don't even have the service. You don't Every have a right to report my job. You but she has driving. the service. Stop, stop. It has nothing to do with star. Every time you get in your vehicle and you use Bluetooth, it's a, it's a certain name that come up. It's called L E X I S Lexus. They're not lying. It asks you. For you to use this, you got to authorize it. You have to say okay for you to even use the Lexus um to, to, to link, your, link your Bluetooth. Once you say okay, everything if they permit you, you volunteer this out once again. But then that there you have it. So you got you got to not you got to not do these things. That that's what Chip was saying. If you want convenience, if you want to use modern technology, that comes with it. So I I, I use Bluetooth because I want to listen to music, but you're actually Analyzing and using all my information, everything I do in the car. Yeah, that, that's where it's illegal. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I guess me personally, work, man. I gotta read that. Like, like I don't have no owner's manual. Okay, but if y'all got owner's manuals, y'all need to read with the all star come because I'm gonna Google all y'all know me. No, I'm gonna be on again, I'm gonna Google all this shit tonight and find out uh -huh. what the law is the or whatever. That has nothing to do with legal star. shit or, or legal shit. This okay. has to do with in, in your owner's manual, when you go to the on star and tell you on star saves all of your your information and have a right to do with it, just like YouTube and social media. We don't yeah. own none of this shit. Yeah. Google own all this shit. Google could actually yeah. take all your yeah. videos. Was she leasing the car? Was it finance or she bought the car? She bought the car. It was her what car. Is, yes. What, yes. Let me make sure I, I go back so that y'all y'all really understand what happened to this lady. So she and bought it and she asked for that service. Cars, you know, essentially turning into a computer and collecting so data. Then, then she put AI. herself in a bird. Michael Brooks is executive director of the Center for Auto Safety and <laughs> says technology is ahead of the law here. Right now, there are no federal laws requiring that automakers have privacy protections for their owners or cybersecurity protections on their vehicles. Out. So, so it's not so, illegal. It's not illegal. illegal. So, so now that you know that. You so now, to... now that y'all, everybody's sitting in the chat, if you own a vehicle or if you plan on getting your child a vehicle, this is what y'all facing, man. Huh? Listen. But, but you can rip out the OnStar. You don't yeah. have to. Keep... Why? Is, why? Is you, keep, you keep saying OnStar. Why, you, why do you have to buy with it? Huh? Is it mandatory? Um, look, if you want to use your Bluetooth, I keep saying this. If you check the Bluetooth, you Bluetooth, is it mandatory? It comes with the car. Bluetooth. Can we be yeah, like, no, I don't want that shit. You the Bluetooth listen. is not tracking your driving record. We 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 talking about here's just, here's what happened, right? The, the way they get you is they tell you 
Listen. These features are safety features. And by having them, we're going to lower your insurance. So anytime you go get an insurance quote, Correct. It's gonna give you the, the lowest problem because you got all these safety. I mean, how, low, how low can you go, Chip? If, if I got a fucking good driver record, 15, 20 fucking years straight, no accidents or some little not my fault, right? And I go there. I mean, how low can you go? I already got I don't need that shit. But, but I'm saying if you, black, if you black and you live in a certain area, your sure is gonna be a certain price no matter how you drive. Yeah, so so I don't understand. But it's not if that. You up, if you're a fucked up driver, you're going to pay the fucked up money. If Here you're a good go, driver, Here what you're going to get even better? Drive it's, safe it's and that. you don't got to worry about this shit. No, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. What's good is it? Um, shit. Wait, wait, wait. If, somebody no. steal, if somebody steal your vehicle, they can track it down? Now, hold on now. We're going hard on what, what, what is it good for? Answer that question. I'm going to do a lot of stuff. No, hold on. I'm going to make sure. Let me make sure y'all understand this, because y'all going hard on OnStar. It's not and that's the case, go hard on your TV in your house. And every, yes, every, 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 electronic you, every electronic device you have has the ability to spy on you, especially, it, it's and it's not even a matter of you giving them permission or not, because you could turn off a lot of the permissions, but certain shit, certain tracking things, is they still, still on. Yeah, yeah but you but you paying all star to, to, to fucking spy on you. That's what it seems like, right? Yeah, you paying to pay, get right. spied on. We understand that that technology could track you. What we say here though, based on this video, the company used that information and it yeah. this lady. I think they scammed her. I mean, that's a problem. Here's, here's what I'm keep saying. If I don't know if you ever noticed when you get in the car, you get in a car with Bluetooth. It has a lex. It says Lexus L E X I S. It pops up on the screen on every every car, every vehicle, and it says, "Do you want to use this?" That's what the if that's where the information is being tracked from. That's what they kept. That's why he kept tip saying Lexus Nexus. We don't understand. If you look up the word, you see what I'm talking about. It, it's it's almost it's in almost all the new vehicles. But how can Bluetooth track your driving record? I don't understand that part. How does that easy? Because it's it's, tra it's tracked by satellite. Yeah. That's the other thing. Like the, the it don't have to be on for them to spy on you. It's the satellite. It's the satellite that, that that's able to track. Listen, like that's how you know. That's how you know how you use your GPS. All you right, use so GPS. Number it's two. By satellite. My second question: Who is the person that's actually watching this technology? Who Lexus who is Lexus Nexus? Nexus? Who are they? Uh, the AI. <laughs> yes, correct. They are watching that shit, recording yeah. everything, and they yeah. deliver it to the insurance company. If, yeah. if, if I don't got on star. If I don't have OnStar, you still have Lexus Nexus. No, listen what I'm saying. It. Listen what I'm saying. If I don't have OnStar, uh -huh. I just got my Bluetooth, my regular, whatever it is, mm -hmm. and I'm listening to my Bluetooth in my car. And whatever reason, my insurance go. What the lady say, eighty mm percent? -hmm. Just because of my Bluetooth, I want to know what information you need use to know the how I drive. Everything that the car that the Bluetooth mount monitors, everything. but they have to tell me that because now I want to know if that's legal. Because even though it isn't legal for you to give my information to a, a third party, well, that's why she's going to try to sue them. But you see what Chip said, Chip, Chip played what he said. There's no law against that. No, nope. there's no law. Against and it. So, she so, signed so, up for the service. So, so if you signed up for it, she got to be the one to set the precedent, she got to be the first one to sue. So that now everybody knows that now you can sue them for doing that. If but these nobody sets the precedent, they're going to keep doing that. These companies have big money, so unless you can outlast, outlast the court date, <laughs> you ain't lying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you ain't lying. You, you, you know, you. See, see, Diddy, nah, bro, nah, nah. bro, you get one of these lawyers that need these kind of cases like this that set precedent. These lawyers take these cases for free because it's going to help their law firm. But here's what I'm saying to you. Here's what I'm saying to you, wise. Same how Michael Jackson got killed. Somebody had to pay off his doctor to do what he did. Like uh, anybody see, pay off you going into a whole nother. Michael Jackson mm -hmm. was a dope fit. He squirted that dope in his arm. He got that doctor to, you, to come over there and shoot him up. Hold on, hold I, I, on. I, I, I'll what I'm give saying you better, is, right? Money's, they money's long. They could pay off your lawyer to, to just. But to what I'm saying, and, and the doctor that squirted them went to jail too. That doctor well, went to jail. For two years, three years, probably. Yeah. It doesn't matter. He went to jail, and he don't have no practice no more. All right, so but you know, know the, the, the assignment, 
it's for anybody. If you have a vehicle, if you plan on getting your child a vehicle, anything like that, do some research. Uh, do as much research as possible on the features of your vehicle. Exactly. Tag, so on and so forth. It, You'll this see way, what I'm talking about. You can uh be be, be mindful. You definitely put me up on something, Chip, because I didn't know, all, I didn't uh, know uh, that. Day. You know, getting get the vehicle with all the bells and whistles. Shit. My girl got that thing in her car that actually track your driving and all of that. Only, but she needed that because she drive crazy for no reason. So knowing that she got that in the car, she's way less aggressive in her driving. You're wise. You have, you use the Bluetooth when you get in the car, right? Yeah. When you get in the car, look. It's gonna it's gonna pop up. It's gonna be a word. It's gonna be L E X I S. I believe you. Nine times. I believe you, Phil. <laughs> let's, let's not even say the driving. Your your tire pressure. You know your, your the tire pressure of your. You know there's sensors that go off. Yeah. Those yeah. sensors yeah. are monitored. These days, though. So if you ride around and that that, 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 that that exclamation mark is on your vehicle. You know your insurance could go up. You ride around with uh baloney tires. Yeah. I yeah. just know if, it's like you said though, Chip. Once. For, for, for one, if it ain't no regulation against it, then they're not doing nothing wrong. But nah, nah. when the people know, though, understand what I'm saying? When the people know that's what you're doing and your bottom line start getting affected because people don't want a, a disservice, they'll stop doing that. So exactly. you're doing the right thing, Chip, by bringing up awareness because people don't know. I had I mean, no idea. I got another awareness for y'all. We are, we, are, we are half an hour in on this topic. Topic number two. This one, this topic right here, this affects... Everybody that ever traveled, ever wanted to travel, ever thought about traveling, overseas uh, or just regular travel, travel. Uh, just, just just regular traveling. Let me ask. A, I'm gonna ask a question in the chat, right? And it's for the panel too. What is the most amount of cash that you can have on your person, whether on you or in your bag, traveling from state to state? I think I know where you're going. Okay. Anybody, anybody <laughs> tell me the, the most that you can have in cash. You're talking about the airport that 20. took the dude money and never gave oh, it back? Listen, I'm just saying. Somebody, somebody I think I know where you're going. You, I, don't, I don't know the amount. I don't know. Ten th it depends. It depends. I okay, you say it depends. Like anybody that. in the chat? Anybody in the chat? What is the most amount of money you can have in cash when, you, when you're traveling? I got another 10000 Let me see. Uh, Anybody else on the panel? 10,000? 10, I heard, but I don't know. I heard it was 10 grand, but no, I don't really no, know. Bro. I forgot. I forgot because they be locking up for anything. Okay. Uh, you know. I think it was like 100,000. I think I saw a story. No, no. He took no. $100,000 because he couldn't say where he got the money from. Yeah, yeah. They can't carry that much money on now, you. Now, let me make sure I explain this to y'all before I get into the case. By law, Traveling from state to state, ten thousand airplane, right? Why you Google that? There is no limit of cash that you. They, they, if they if they create a limit, uh that was just to safety uh, issues. To uh, harass you. That was just to give reason for them to search you. To harass you. To harass you. Pretty much, there's, there's no limit, uh, per se. Now. What these individuals have done is the same way how we're disputing how much you can carry, how much you can't carry. They took it upon themselves to say, "Well, hey, they don't know the law, so guess what? We're gonna target these individuals. We're gonna use the fact that you know, I, I know, and I know a lot of my homeboys and, and homegirls that said, I don't want to get no bank account. I'd rather carry. You know, I'm gonna put my cash in my shoebox." Or in my safe. The hell with a bank account. They just gonna take your money. Da 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 da. da you know, if computers go down, all your money gone. Well, if you carry in cash, right, and you don't know the law, they can confiscate your money. They, they do. The, the do. people. And all the time. Some of the people that some of the reasons that some people give for not having a bank account be irrational though. In in in, in today's society, in the way you gotta move. It's it's kind of even though personally I didn't have no bank account into 9-11. I I'm into the uh uh pandemic. I was one of them people that saved my money in my house. I ain't even gonna lie. But 
it's more beneficial to have a bank account. Listen, I'm telling you, there is so many people that I run across that be like, yo, man, I ain't mess with them bank systems. They just gonna take your money. Da 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 da. I don't want to save it shoebox way. Or I, I like to keep it on because whatever, whatever the case may be. That's what I'm saying, Chip. Some of those reasons be irrational. All right, now those though for all. Let me let me play this case right, so that y'all can understand what's going on out here in the world. Are we gonna be it able happens. to hear it? This is a different video. Can we we gonna be able to hear it, Chip? Yeah, I hope. <laughs> TSA has one mandate, securing air travel. But screeners are looking for more than just weapons or explosives. They're also looking for money. TSA Rule 100.4 tells screeners to alert police if they spot large amounts of currency concealed within someone's bag, even though traveling with large amounts of currency is not illegal. Time out. We're going to stop it right there. If it's not illegal, but to travel with large amounts of currency, then why the hell are you telling the TSA to signal you if I got large amounts of currency on me? It's called profiling. Another, another, exactly. Thing. Another, 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 another form of stop and frisk. Think, think about it. Another form of stop and frisk. You can't, you can't assume somebody's doing something, but you really, you really, it's, it's not every day that somebody just going to come through with 100,000 cash in their luggage. But if they do, that's their business. That's what right. no, right. you're right. You, you're saying right. that maybe for let, let me say it this way: maybe for the our average. for our people, it might not be a regular thing. Correct profiling. Other people exactly profiling. People, those those other people don't get searched. Chip, let me ask you this: right, if you just saw a motherfucker outside with thirty grand on him, you ain't gonna think that's weird. The, see a lot of what? things can occur, and, and we don't and know what no, 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 we can't can do with thirty grand. Listen, listen, what I'm saying. You can't assume there's anything illegal about having it, because, like he said, there's no law against having it. What I'm saying is, to see somebody with that much cash on you, you're going to be like, wow, it's going to be. Now, here's Why? the thing. Nobody's gonna be walking around flashing that money just like the person at the airport. They wasn't flashing it, it was concealed in their luggage. You're right. surfing no, looking for a reason to fuck with it. somebody. The point is that they have it. If right. you know somebody that got that much money on them, you're gonna be wondering why, not so much where they get it from, because that's none of your business. You will be wondering why they got so much money on them. And right. now, as law enforcement, though, because you gotta look at both sides of the street. We we looking at being harassed. You got to look at a motherfucker coming through the airport with a hundred thousand dollars cash. Can I ask you a question? If if you seen a Hasidic going to Israel with a hundred thousand dollars, would would you would you question him? Say that again. If you seen a Jewish person going to Israel with a hundred thousand dollars, would you question? Them? I see anybody that got a hundred thousand dollars on them for no fucking reason. I will question that. I don't care. You who don't you know are. the reason though. You don't know why they got it. Right. Again, again. Hold on. Let, let, let me go back into the case because I want them to explain. You know, I, I, this way we we cover it. The cash that uh, appears to be hidden. Remember, Amy's bomb. That's not true when flying domestically. Yet drug agents in Charlotte offered this LA-bound passenger a deal. Sign a form abandoning his $100,000 or face a lengthy federal investigation. Ooh, they, they, they cheated. No, no. Sign a deal. It was a, whole, it was a trip. For you to take my honey cake. There's more to the story. There's more to the story. There's more They did a whole investigation. This town was cheating people. They was doing that to a lot well, of yeah. people. I'm a, I'm, listen, I'm, I'm going to go into it because, you know, this affects every single one of my brothers and sisters that's traveling. You know, like, especially if you one of the ones that don't like to have a bank account and you want to go to, let's say, Vegas. You know, you, you who knows what you want to do? You want to travel. You might have cash because you ain't got no car. You ain't using uh, cash app enough. You, you, you strictly cash money. You know that's you how you thousand percent right. I ain't saying that. You know. Whatever I gotta do, whatever I gotta do, I'm not signing that. Because if I got a hundred thousand dollars, that means I could get a lawyer. Whatever I gotta do, I'm not signing that. All right, let, let let's see. Uh, 
what are, what are, what are the ramifications for not signing it? Sure. Uh, if you avoid all that, not to sound like you need car salesman, but I'm going to give you all your options and you can walk away from that money. I'm going to see the money, but if you want to walk away from a federal investigation that's linked to the money, those are your options. But Time out. So you, if you want to walk away from a federal investigation that's linked to this money, hey, I'm just telling you, we we, gonna, we the one that's linking it. See, what he well, doing is... The feds he, gonna he, have to come investigate because I'm not signing my bread over. Here you go. Here Even you go. if you walk, if you walk, they, the the feds gonna come and investigate okay. your ass after okay. you walk. They gonna okay. follow your ass for six you months. Well, bring it on. Take more money from me. No, boy, boy, listen to what he's saying. He's really, he's really a street dude. He's running the flim flam on him. Listen what he said to him. First the of all, only way I'm walking away from that money is if I know it's dirty money. If that's money that I work exactly. for or, exactly. or hustle to do whatever, I'm not walking away from my money. No. Yeah, exactly. I'm not walking away. Now, I'm going with my money. Wherever it's, the money go, I'm going with it. I'm going exactly. no with it. The well, only way you go. This airport. I'm not leaving out of this airport. Do it. If I'm yep. done, I ain't going. Y'all going to have to throw me behind whatever you want to yeah. throw Whatever, me. under, behind. I want to I ain't doing no motherfucking way. <laughs> another lawsuit because y'all beat me ass because yep. I said I want my money back. But what they really trying to say is we're going to tax you. We gonna, we gonna, the federal government going to come after you and try to tax you for some of that money that you want. Well, for. tax this me, nigga. Going, I don't oh, give a fuck. What you doing? This is what I'm trying to tell y'all. This is gay. First of all, he's not no fucking federal agent. He don't start no investigation. All right, hold on. Let me let me, let me me go back to the uh, let me go back to the video because that's, you know, why you said something critical. But you sign in, uh, nobody from the U.S. Attorney's Office will contact you. Three years later, he's still trying to get his money back from the federal government. Oh, no. See? Court records See what I'm show saying? Clayton County narcotics officers yeah. use similar disclaimer of ownership forms at Atlanta's airport. Any check bags? Clayton County officers found neither drugs nor money in 93% of these jet bridge searches, movie. according to our review of more than a year of drug task force logs but they were still able to seize more than a million dollars cash for reasons such as the money was concealed within clothing or it smelled like marijuana. Yeah. Just Come out! Come out! Come out! Come out now. Wait. Let me show you the dirty game that they be playing, man. Profile. You traveling from New York to Atlanta. Everything up there is legal in New York to smoke weed. My my clothes, my power is just fogged up with the shit. Profile. I come through. Oh, we're gonna take this shit because you smell like marijuana. Why well, just came from New York? No, your money smell like marijuana, so we gonna call this Smoking. Cease and desist. <laughs> you, you, you come up with that. There's a lot of bullshit going on. Man. This right here, man. You ain't got nothing else to do. I don't care if it take nine years. I'm not just letting y'all take my money. You know what's crazy? They not even taking the money and putting it in their pocket. They taking that money and giving it to their state. They yeah. seizing your shit and giving it to the state. Some of that money disappears, wise. It's a yeah, racket. Yeah. That's a racket. Let me go back to the go, you know. flying to California can be suspicious. The passenger was flying from Atlanta, a known drug hub city, to San Francisco. Huh? <laughs> you heard what you said. Yes, that uh, Atlanta no. is a known drug hub city. No. That's straight racial profiling. So no, he got to get $100,000 uh, no. back on top of a big ass lawsuit. Racial profiling, blatantly. Yeah. He coming from Atlanta to go to with paperwork. You gotta, you, gotta say, you gotta come with a cashier's check saying I took this money out and I'm going to do whatever. Like you literally got to roll with proof. And this is another thing that we always say as black people. Oh, if it was a white man, that's everybody knows that. Everybody know that we get treated different, so we got moved different. For we real. <laughs> For real? <laughs> look, am I bugging? Oh, I'm like, no, 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 look. This is what I'm saying. Understand what I'm saying, right? Whenever a black man get caught up in a certain crime, they always say, oh, if he was white, he wouldn't have treated him like that. If he was white, da da da, da. We know that. So we do got to move different because they're going to treat us different. That's a fact. Or you're going to be on that chair with homeboy 
if you going to treat me like that, you going to pay for it. I don't give a fuck what we know. And that's the problem. People just bend to the rules all the time. Like, you moving the goalposts. Just because I'm black, I can't travel with $100,000? No. Then guess what? At the end of your investigation, you're going to give me back my 100000 plus another 100000 or more. For the, for the shit you put well, me through. I don't through. disagree. I don't disagree. Um, the, the way my attitude is set up on principle. Why it take it so long, man, with the investigation? Why does shit take it oh, so oh, long? They don't want to give him his money back. <laughs> let me let he don't got no charges. Let me let me let him I, I saw him. I didn't see no lawyer. They oh. lawyers. They got better lawyers. Hold on. Yeah, the law is the law. San Francisco, I understand they got a known better lawyers, drug source point, city. You're going to have to Civil charge me with something. Actually so Atlanta is a known drug hub. In California, a is city to San Francisco, a known drug source city. This that is nasty been that work. Man's life this is nasty work. Every city is known. How many times you got caught up in the street? Is actually traveling while black. I want y'all to hear this clearly. The man says, "Hold on, source city. Civil forfeiture is actually easier." In criminal forfeiture. Dan mm. Alvin and the Institute mm. for Justice have successfully sued Civil. the DEA and other agencies to get passengers' money back. Perversely, it's actually easier to forfeit someone's property from an innocent person who is not charged or convicted of a crime than it is from a criminal defendant who actually is convicted of a crime. In nearly all airport cash seizures we've reviewed, no drugs were found and the passengers were not arrested or charged with a crime. And the vast majority. Time out. <laughs> Time out. So you wasn't arrested. You ain't charged no crime, but you ain't got your money either. You heard, you heard what he said, though? He actually sued and some people got it. The problem is if you ain't got no money for no lawyer, your ass is out. That's fucked up. But, it's, but, it's fucked up what they do. They legally robbing people, tell you the truth. But the state yeah. pays for their lawyers. Yes, you're right. I'm not questioning that. I'm not debating you on none of that. It's fucked up. I saw this. It was there is so many. You see, they done see the million dollars. Motherfucker just but see, it's the getting you to sign that paper where the catch is at. You see what I'm saying? They want you to sign that paper so you can say. I ain't do shit, but you can have my money. By by you signing that paper, it's saying you did something wrong. Don't ever sign the paper. Hold on, we got I'm going nine yeah. years. Whatever the sure, don't sign the paper. Oh, I don't yeah. know. Like, I don't know. I don't know. That sounds easy. No, no, this is sound sound on side of people. Like, oh, look, 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 look. You you, oh, they still going to take your yeah, shit. Exactly. Easy. And I'm not signing it because you're going to violate either way. So yeah. I'd rather yeah. not sign it, it and fight I'm for it without dealing with all of that. I'm not Hello? signing no paper that says that you. We got two minutes left to this video. I want y'all to hear how how grimy <laughs> this is. Of these cases, they just take the money. They don't take custody of the person. They, in effect, arrest the money instead of the person. That's absolutely right. Especially in airport interdictions, it's almost always uh, someone's cash is seized, but they're allowed to continue traveling uh, to board their flight. On location during this interview or interrogation, you, you are effectively <laughs> required to prove that your money isn't from drugs in order for them not to take it right there on the scene. The way that law enforcement conducts interdiction, it's the burden right. is on the person to prove that they're innocent and that their cash is not involved in any criminal activity. You're going to sign a consent form saying that you're allowing us to search them, okay. or I'm going to detain them run my dog on it and get a search. Feel free to search the bag, sir. Yes. It's not a consensual interview in those circumstances. It's an ambush. Atlanta News First Investigates found plainclothes DEA task force officers picking out passengers and searching bags at Hartsfield Jackson Gates, including this canine handler from Brookhaven Police. How many innocent people do you have to search before you find what you're looking for? Sir, I've got nothing to say to you. <laughs> so we went straight to the top. Drug Enforcement Administration headquarters here in Northern Virginia. We gave the agency days advance notice that we wanted to sit down for an interview. But after we arrived in the nation's capital, the DEA said it didn't have time to answer our questions about the airport searches. They don't want word about this getting out. They don't want the public to know about what they're doing. They wanna be able to this continue seizing work. money from innocent people that they never charge with a crime so that they can keep that money and put it back into their slush funds that they can then spend on 
any activities they want, including generating even more revenue for DOJ, DEA, and, and these other they, agencies. They're they, they keeping the money for themselves, for the government. That's wild. That is, listen. Listen, man, listen. Listen, I'll be sick if that ever happened to me. If they got away with my, I'll be sick. I probably get arrested. Though. I ain't even gonna lie. Listen, I, I will probably just, get a charge. I'm just trying to tell y'all. I'm trying to help uh, in advance. These are things that's occurring. These are things that's happening. And because a lot of us don't know the law, or didn't study the law, or don't have a lawyer at hand, these you know we they're definitely just taking. Your, your papers. They don't even have an amount. What if you going on vacation? What if, what if I say I'm going to Atlantic City to ball the fuck out? Listen. No, listen, you a listen. drug dealer. We taking your money. So that means listen. I got two because look at the shit that was in the papers. It was concealed in his clothes. So what the fuck I supposed to do? I supposed to walk around with $10,000 like hanging out in my pocket? No. Hell no. That make no sense. They wild. They legally, they legally robbing people, yo. But if you could know the law. It's, it's still, they still gonna crush it. That lawyer did say that they sued successfully. It's the headache that you gotta go through to sue a motherfucker. But again, if, if they, especially that's your life savings, you gonna fight that. You are not gonna sign that paper. I, I see. I see. I seen a dude. He he was taking the money to, to do some business that he had, um, during COVID, and that same same thing happened to him. And that was legit money. It's crazy. You gonna sign that paper and leave your hundred thousand dollars in the airport, or they gonna have to put some handcuffs on you? See what you just said? Put some handcuffs on you, like for real? I, I, I'm traveling. That's what I gotta go through. No, so you just leave. You just gonna give up your hundred thousand chip? You too? You gonna now, just give up the money? Now, why? Let me explain. I'm gonna explain this case to you, right? Uh so the man, you know, during COVID, he lost his job, right? Uh his mother wound up passing away. Right. He received he had her you know, insurance money. I saw money to my insurance money. So he decided, listen, in North Dakota, they got a pickup truck that I could use and I could start a towing business. Mm -hmm. right. I'm, I'm gonna go take take this twenty eight thousand or thirty thousand whatsoever. I'm flying out to North Dakota to go get it and drive the vehicle back. Listen. They still confiscated his money. Yes, yes. And listen what they said. He told them, listen, I got proof who I was talking to out there. I got pictures of the vehicle. I, I, I'm showing you the address I'm going to. I'm showing you, you know, the death proceeds from a mother insurance. And they still took the money. But did he sign so the you, paper saying they can have it? Listen, you can... You can we can go buck crazy and we could, you know, spaz out in the airport and, and, and really make the scene ugly. You steal out your papers and now you got assault charges on top of. All right. So, even all if you're peacefully, that, that you're saying, are you going to sign that paper saying they can have the money? No, 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 no. I'm no, no. not signing shit. I ain't signing no paper. Listen, I'm not an N, I'm not an N word no more. But I, I almost guarantee you that if you're going to take my hundred, especially in that case, I got this paper showing where I got this money from, you're going to definitely have to put some handcuffs for me. You probably ain't going to have to beat me up, but you're going to put me in the chokehold because I'm not going to fight the police. But when you say leave and I don't leave and they're going to tell you if you don't leave, I'm going to lock your ass up, then you're going to have to lock me up because I'm not going to voluntarily and I'm definitely never going to sign that paper. That's a guarantee. Now, again, I'm not going to say nothing crazy about, oh, I'm going to tear up the airport. I'm da -da -da. Allegedly, 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 I would never tear up no airport. I'm just saying, hypothetically speaking. But, but but I feel like you shouldn't have to even go through that. Like, I have to get detained because yeah, I don't want to give up my money. Right. I'm just saying, if so happened that you be in that situation. No, I understand what you're saying. Well, I understand what you're saying. I, I just feel like it's... it's once again, you're just being violated and over and over. It's, it's not any any which way you look at it, you're getting violated. Anybody in the chat going to sign the paper? That's what I want to know. I want to know who will sign the paper and just say, okay, I don't want to deal with this. Fuck the papers. <laughs> how about that? Yeah. yeah, how about that? Like, I don't know. Yeah. I, I can't see myself. My hand ain't going to allow me to sign that paper, yo. And but look, the thing, this, my, this was worse, though. Listen, listen what they doing. They forcing you into a hardship.
Because if that's all your money, first of all, how you going to go anywhere when you get off the plane? So y'all forcing me to now have to possibly, allegedly, commit another crime. Y'all put me off the plane, bro. Now, that's why they're going to end up having to pay him back more than that. They're going to have to give him back more than his 100000 Three years is a really long time. Not always, yeah. See what you said? Three years is too long. What do you mean? Like, I gotta, I shouldn't have to wait a day. It's, it's bad all around. That's one of them situations where you black, you can't win. If you're white, you can't win either. But most people that, that got money for lawyers find a way. Because he did say they successfully sued the government right, and got some people money back. Hold on, let me, let me go to... That's a form of extortion. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't like the hard sound. He gonna he gonna end up with more than he gonna end up with more than a hundred thousand when that lawyer get finished with them. I make things good on your flight, so I'm like, oh, do what you gotta do. They didn't find anything suspicious in Tabari's bag, so what were they looking for? He just is like, are you high? Are you have you smoked? <laughs> do you have any drugs in this bag? Do you have any money? The DEA and other drug agents are seizing millions of dollars from departing passengers at Hartsfield Jackson, mostly from flights to LA, even though it's mostly completely legal people. to travel domestically with any amount of cash. We found dozens of cases in Atlanta's federal court, God, USA yeah. v. some amount of currency. That's right. right. In most cases, they don't arrest the passenger. They arrest their money, even when no drugs are found. The probable cause statements show that the cash is administratively forfeited as drug money if the passenger can't prove on the spot that their money is innocent. That's going to make me mad. Listen, your money is forfeited. That's going to make me mad. Well, just that tone of talking to me like, first of all, I'm going to be upset that you singled me out, right? But I do understand airport security. Going through the airport, you're liable to be pulled off the line, get searched. They put me in that machine before. I didn't like it. I don't know if you ever been in that machine where you got to step on your feet and put your hands up. They definitely put me in that machine before. But so I understand <laughs> airport security. But when you roll up on me and say, you're a fucking drug dealer unless you prove that you not. And then dude shows him the paper. Look, I got this money for my mom's life insurance. You're still a fucking, that's not enough proof. So what's proof? What is proof? What, what, is, what can I legally show you to prove that I don't sell drugs? There is nothing that you can show. <laughs> you you are, that, at the end of the day, you know, for all my people that, like to make it rain in the club. Be mindful, man. Listen. Don't fly out of Jackson to LA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You definitely don't want to do that. Now. Get a cashier's check. That's don't want to do a cashier's check. So put it on your cash app card. <laughs> like I said, man, you know, I just want to bring some awareness. Uh <laughs> you know, I know today was an eventful day with the clips and all of other stuff, but when I seen these two cases pop up, you know. Shout out to uh uh brother J Lo. He he kind of uh do 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 the assist on, on 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 one of the cases, and then Maria she do the assist on the, on the other case. So man, listen, like I said, we, we enjoy uh individuals you know stepping up. And, and if y'all see something and y'all y'all want to discuss it and you, you know want us to do some research. I have no problem uh, looking to it further and, you know, voting and, and really letting the people be aware of what's going on around them, man. That See what you just pulled up? They got Dr. Sebi the same way for 15000 it, it could happen to Zeris. It could happen anywhere. That's why it's like, I don't know, man. It's just weird. How it so look, I'm I'm not I'm not I know I know he's like a natural healer, right? I, I'll be hearing a lot of stuff, right? So I saw something that said his daughter was in jail, but not then I saw her say, nah, they lying, I wasn't in jail. Yeah, they lying. Then I they saw lying. something that said his son got 50 years in jail, and then I saw that's something that said he's not in jail. That's so a lot, too. That's a lot, that, That's what I'm saying about this kind of, like, conspiracy. Like, you got to really, like, I, I got to process facts. I don't like when people just make up stuff. Yeah, this is you know why why would they say that? Like, everybody, this is what I'm saying, is that that's why I say you got to look at both sides. 
Right, because they don't yeah. put that in all oh, the government, da, 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 da. but the lady not even in jail. She said herself, we, why are they saying this? I don't know. I don't know. But I, 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 everybody's seen it. Yeah. I don't know. No. Yeah, so I, I don't like that kind of stuff. That's why mm -hmm. I don't just go off what I read. I got to do some research. I got to check stuff out. Like a certain story might put my antennas up, but I got to check it out for myself to see. And um, even though nothing is 100%, I, I'm more rather believe something that comes from a reputable source. Or want to profit process something that comes from a reputable source than something that just comes from e news online. Uh, last last one for the day, y'all. Uh, I just need to know anybody anybody got kids that's still in in, in school right now, like they, they're still currently attending school. Uh, I got grandkids. My kids grown. I don't have no well, well, grandkids, grandkids, nieces, nephews. I need to know. Uh Whatever state you're living in, how many picture days are there for, uh, let's just say, for, uh, elementary school? How many days are picture day? When my kids was in school, I think they took pictures twice a year. There you go, okay. two times a year. When, when we was in school, I think it was once a year. Okay. Unless you were like doing graduation pictures or something like that, different. But it was it went from one to two that I know of. All right, in, in, anybody anybody in the chat? If you got children uh and or grandkids or J just to nieces, add on to that though, these days they have a lot of things in school that's more can do because they have pajama day, this day, that day. We never had none of that shit. We wasn't coming to school no more fucking pajamas on. Oh, can I curse? Yeah, 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 yeah. On yeah, the panel, you, you can kind of freeze. Yeah, so we, we never had none of that. So these days, I don't understand. It's two things I don't understand that's going on today because I'm not involved. I don't understand school, right? And I don't understand jail because I ain't been in jail since 92, so I don't know how jail go. And I don't know what's going on with the slippers, wow. the crocs in school. And let me just add, this is like kind of like a little joke, <laughs> right? Now, I know I know these days, these kids' feet is made out of concrete so they can wear crocs in the winter. <laughs> Don't man, I don't even want to start, man. No, listen, last week it rained every day, they still had on Crocs. You can't tell me that your feet wasn't wet. You, listen, your feet might I don't don't understand. Understand. you can't tell me your feet wasn't wet last nah, week. To help, listen, <laughs> let them get away with the Crocs. Oh, you can have that. I don't understand 90 degrees outside, and you got on a hoodie. Yeah, I don't understand that, that. that all year round though. They don't even, now they only wear coats. They didn't wear no coats this year. You, you didn't see no hoodie, with a big goose down on 80 degree, 20 degree. All I got on hoodie. That's it. Shorts, That's hoodie. It. Like, what did you like yeah, that, in the summertime? You're gonna, these kids different, man. You I was always was told you're gonna get pneumonia if you first of all, you ain't had to tell me to put out no coat because I'll be cold. I'm putting on a coat, mm -hmm. scarf, scully, all that boots. I ain't wearing no canvas sneakers and no snow. I wear boots when it's cold outside. When it's under 30 degrees, I'm gonna put boots on my feet. That's yeah, man. I guess we be we, we old school. <laughs> they yeah, ain't this this new generation, they crocs in the rain and slippers. You wearing slides and it's raining outside. I don't listen, even understand that. Crocs to gym. I, I listen, a lot of you not my you know, I don't even want to put them out here like that. But my Is son you letting them play gym in crocs though. My son, I'm like, yo, you know, let's let's go get you some, uh, you know, back to school sneakers, da 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 da. All right, good inside the mall. I'm like, yo, what you want? Oh, uh, I don't really see nothing. All right, all right so I'll give him the money. Did, did he go get some Crocs? <laughs> well, right. let's, let's, Only let's, thing let's... that's good about that, you could get like five pair of Crocs for a pair of Jordans and still well, have money to go to the movies. You got it. You got it. You got it. Well, when it's in snow, what you gonna do? Now they gotta, win them. Listen, these kids got on Crocs with snow on the ground. Yo. You, you I don't understand, understand how they feet not cold. You got to understand. Not, it's, it's, it's more of a, it's more of a um, publicity thing. Not, it's a style thing. Yeah, because I, I, I ain't going to lie to you. They told, they told me I was crazy when I was young, and I got the Adidas and took the laces out like one DMC. And they're like, yo, you what are you, dumb? Like, you're going you gonna to lose your sneakers. They was never lying. But we didn't do that in the winter time, though. You knew that if you didn't put them motherfucking shoestrings in when it get cold, your feet was going to be cold. <laughs> don't do that. Listen, yeah, I don't know, Listen. Man. we wasn't wearing no Hercules slippers to school, man. We ain't, we ain't do that. First but of no, all, we... you can't fight in those slides. 
I don't no. know where they come from. You can't fight no slides. But even if you slip them off in school, you on that marble floor or that cement, whatever that that tile with socks on, you still gonna be sliding. But and you can't run in them to. skinny jeans. But the people you we can't run in no in no slides either. The you people not getting to wasn't doing that. Right. The you gonna push your whole ankle. The people they looking up to are doing the same thing you're talking about. They're wearing Crocs and they're wearing skinny jeans and everything. The people that they idolize are, are doing that. And that's why you the see them the the getting beat up too. That's why you see them losing all their fights in the tight pants. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. Because he yeah. couldn't even duck. He couldn't even duck. Oh, man. Yeah. Can't bother me with them. Best best on my legs, yo. For real. My legs got to have movement. I cannot wear yeah. them tight pants all on my calves. Oh, man. Salute, Queen. How y'all doing? Pretty good, pretty good. Oh, you know. Mac, how you? I'm fine. But yeah, I just yeah. came up here to say this. Them wearing those Crocs now, it's like when y'all was wearing Timberlands in the summertime. Thank you. Thank but you. Timberlands are insulated. Your feet was not sweating. You no, was not in summertime. No, no, no. Listen, it's the same thing as when Y'all was wearing the Timberland boots with, with shorts on. With man. shorts on. Come on, man. Come on. And some of y'all also had on sweat hoods. Nah, not nah, all no, of y'all. No, no, no. Mm. Not, not no, all of y'all. Not, no, not all of y'all. Listen, if somebody, when I was little, if you came outside in the summertime and you had on a hoodie, it only one thing happened. You got whooped last night with a stitching cord and you don't want to show the work. You <laughs> 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 shouldn't be outside no long sleeves in no nah. 90 degrees. You lost your mind. You know, what? your friend came out with long pants and a long shirt. Either all his shorts was dirty, he ain't had nothing else to put on, or he got whooped with that stitching cord and he got all the whelps that he don't want to show. Yeah, that's yeah, I can agree with that. But I was say, what y'all saying, that's the same thing I used to say when I used to see guys in the summertime with shorts and them Timberland boots on. Oh, man. Especially Timberlands the all uh, insulated though. That's more oh. rational. Timberlands in the summer is 10 times more rational than Crocs in the winter. Man, it was a time we wore we wore these long ass t-shirts that hang all the way down to your knees. Come on, man. I was like, just talking to my boy about that the other day. That oversized oh. clothes was a terrible era for us. Yeah, that was a man. bad era. Yeah, the that, oversized that was clothes was a bad era. So was the um when you had the, the socks that you squinched down and you had like two, three <laughs> pair on. So was that. Yeah, man. Yeah, I don't know. I think I like that era because I had, I had. <laughs> that's when I was on my gap. I had the matching gap shorts with the two color socks. Yo, that was a that was a good look for me. I ain't yeah. gonna front. <laughs> I, I, ain't even front. I was heavy on. I'm that. just saying. See, to them, those croc is a good look. Yeah. And listen, to what I'm no. saying. Style is one thing. You outside with cold, holes no. in your shoes with snow on the ground. Your feet are cold. No, facts, facts. But they like I, I I don't want the kids to get upset at me, but crops <laughs> is just like wearing sketches. You might as well put on them blinky ass sketches with it's the rolling the the wheels at the, the back. Wearing them the damn school. Where would you want, lady, ladies, ladies, and old people could wear sketches all they want. Crocs, Uggs, and sketches are all lady shoes to me. Nurses were the first ones to wear Crocs. Nurses was wearing Crocs before anybody was. No, no, no. Any Doctor. any male any male that put them little trinkets on your Crocs, you my friend, uh, we, we, you know, <laughs> allegedly there, there's uh something. That, that's, the style, that's the style though. What's the style? Because all my nephews got all them shits. I step on their no, Crocs every time I see them too. See, oh, listen, they already Crocs, know. My Crocs nephews already know. You come around me with some Crocs on. I'm gonna step on your feet on purpose. I do it all the time, all the time, straight up and well, down. You Crocs. have. Had a crack, but to put on them little trinkets on your car as a the male, style. that's the style. Listen, I bought my aunt some Crocs and all the trinkets. She took all the trinkets out. See, listen, Crocs were made for doctors and nurses because they stand on their feet all day, and somehow it became a fashion. People swear by them, though. Like people say, they're very comfortable. I'm just not. They are. 
No, the they are. No when they started no letting them wear them into fast food, that's when they just got out of I got it out of control because all the young pe people that work in the fast food now they wearing them outside oh, yeah. after work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's why it takes so long for you to get your order. Sometimes they sliding across the floor. Mm -hmm. No, from? but see, 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 but see, they see, supposed to be slide re resistant. They supposed they to be are, good. If they the real Crocs, if they not the real Crocs, then yeah, they will slide from the it's floor. Free. But the real Crocs, you're no, not sliding free. anyway. Yeah, mm -hmm. they're 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 resistant. With that, though, if you move too fast, the way you're gonna twist your whole ankle because the soul ain't gonna give. Your well, toe, toe, your toe might come out the front of the crop. Crocs are crocs are I ain't gonna use the word cheap because I don't like to cut on people, but crocs are low cost. Yes, you uh, have no crocs on. Right, crocs because they wasn't out. they are for working, just like Timberlands was construction. Well, I'm gonna start and, with dirty raggedy crocs. You should be able to get some more crocs. <laughs> No, because they look nasty. Is that I'd rather them wear nasty than wear bands than wear them damn crocs? I, I could tolerate yeah. you know seeing the, the, you know a bunch of bands running around. Ladies, it's, not it's not as comfortable. It's not as comfortable. Ladies for sketches fine. No thick ass sketches for real. Yeah, see, Vans is the modern day pro kids in 69s. Vans are acceptable mm -hmm. in certain circles, though. Like we, we like, like I know people that wear vans. Me, yeah, they not, know, they I, not I, my I, style. I can accept those. I ain't gonna crap on them. I'm gonna just say they not my style. I'm not a van type of dude. <laughs> but, but if that's your budget, yeah, you gotta so wear what you gotta wear. If that's all you could afford, you gotta wear what you gotta wear. Oh, vans that's you, wild. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's you, wild. Yeah, yes, yeah. You, you <laughs> keep me laughing. <laughs> I mean, no, for real though, because I come. No, I know that's why it'd be funny because you'd be for real be cutting on nobody that gotta wear vans. Like I said, if that's what you gotta wear, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what you, you know. gotta wear. But me personally, if you gotta, gotta wear socks, if that's what you gotta wear, you know, no, no, no shame, no game. I'm just saying, if you have an alternative, then wear some Crocs in the snow. You know, choose, <laughs> choose alternative, man. But these kids is wearing Crocs by choice, and, and you tell you the truth. If you think about it, if you think about it, these kids coming up 10 times better than us. They don't got to do none of the shit that we had to do. A lot of these kids' moms do got jobs. They got $400 phones. Ain't none of our mama bought us yeah. no $400. <laughs> Ain't none of our mama bought us no one thing. $1,000 phones. Yeah. My phone $14,000. Easy. I'll be on the bus. I'll be on the bus. Every kid on that bus got an iPhone. I got a $200 phone. I can't afford an iPhone. <laughs> I'm telling you, for real, these kids, these kids got no three hundred dollars sneakers with no job and a flat book bag. I don't even understand that. You got a book bag with no books in it and three hundred dollars sneakers on. I, I don't understand. I don't understand. Because they not, use oh, uh, they use laptops and tablets now. Yeah, Yo, what up, man? Max, salute everybody. What up? What up? Peace, peace, yeah. Peace, peace, peace. Man, I'm Max. What up, baby? How you doing? How you been? Yeah. Man, I'm blessed, baby. Blessed, no complaints. I, I think we smarter than these kids are today, too, because we had to get in there and do the research and get in these books. Everything on the tablet is too easy to get the information. Exactly. That, 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 that's why a lot of them not, they're not, they're getting the education to pass, but they're not getting the education to stick. That's but, why I said we smarter than them. They can't even sign their name. And they don't even teach these. And now that's not their fault, though. I had to teach my kids how to write cursive. I didn't know they took it out of the school. Well, that's a fact. Well, it's yeah, a lot of times. When I took them to get their some of you papers and it say sign and print, my daughter print two times. I was like, you can't read? She was yeah. like, Dad, I don't know. I said, what you mean you don't know how to write cursor? They I stopped. I yelling at her. She was like, no, they didn't teach. I said, what you mean they didn't teach her? Isn't it? Yeah, they stopped like, teaching. No. I the went computer. to the school. I went to the school. It said, what? They said they took it out of the curriculum. <laughs> The computers are there to give you more, more. Oh God! Listen, I was involved. I did. I didn't get my high school diploma like I was supposed to. Every last one of my kids graduated high school. Say it again, bro. I yeah, wind up man. I got a GED though. I, I wind up getting my GED. They all well, knew me my in every, school, in every school that my kids went to from pre-K until they graduated. They know what it is when Mr. Smith come here. Yeah. They know who I am. They know what time it is. If she wrong, y'all gonna hear some yelling in here. 
And if she yep. right, y'all gonna hear some yelling in here. <laughs> this, 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 this that, yelling. That, that's real parenting. <laughs> yep. They know. They that's know. real parenting right there, man. Listen, I grabbed my daughter's throat in the classroom. The teacher said, Mr. Smith, you got to do that when we not looking. Yeah, fuck that. I said, you was looking when she was in here cursing your ass out, wasn't you? Yeah, exactly. Well, I've been, banned from, I've been banned from the school before. I've been banned with the I got put out when I did. I did, I did get to to my house. I got escorted out. But the teacher was wrong. Hey, I, I cut up the school. I cut up in school one time acting crazy. My mama came and whipped my ass in front of the class and sat in the class next to me all week and made me answer every fucking question asked. <laughs> this little boy threw a soccer ball in my daughter's face. Oh, my daughter whooped that boy so bad. The gym teacher, another gym teacher, and like four kids had to get her off of that boy. Mm -hmm. Face up and everything. They called the police and all that had to go to the school. I said, what happened? The little boy said, he admitted that he threw the ball in my daughter's face. And the father said, but she didn't have to do that. I went crazy. You should have hit him in his eye. They wouldn't let me. I yeah, went crazy. let me. I got, he got right out. In eyes. I got escorted out of that school by the police and the security. Jesus. It was one of those, listen, leave or go to jail. We understand yeah. that leave or go to jail. They are scored to be up out of there, though. For real. The, 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 the internet and the internet in the you know the so-called acceptance in society, they done messed our kids up. I was all for uniforms in school. Because man, kids is treacherous, man. Right, Everybody right, can't right. afford top shelf. You know what I'm saying? For real. And that, that's well, where the disconnect comes. Uniform was a beautiful thing. It that was the best thing that happened. It made all the kids equal. I, I yep. could attest to that because I got teased a lot when I was young. Man, bro, niggas had the mics. I had pro wings, bro. Man, listen. You, you know, <laughs> it definitely, it, it, and as a parent, it helped me out a lot too because I ain't had to worry about the latest. I just went and mm -hmm. got the, whatever it was. Whatever that, it was, that, that's how I learned how to fight, man. I learned how to fight because I was out of style. I ain't had no Lees or Levi's. To tell you the truth, the kids look nice when they all in uniform like that. Yeah, all all yep. They look better. Man, but it was man. still kids that was getting in trouble because they parents were refusing to put the uniform on them. <laughs> they were still sitting in the school in their nice street clothes. You know, we, we definitely going to do a... Uh... <laughs> A, a trip down memory lane uh because you know a lot of us who was outside on, on, on a positive aspect uh there's a lot of things that we did in, in our childhood that these kids nowadays you know aren't experiencing you know they don't they, play that's because they don't, they don't play. play kick the kid y'all no, remember kick the kids, kids, smoke dance and fight that's what they do that, that's why the majority of our kids are obese. They have sex. That's all they know how to do. They don't know how to do nothing else. Well, they don't know how to play Red Rover. No, they, they don't, don't know how play to play outside. No, 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 no double <laughs> dutch. Listen, no, we had to, we had to, we had to, if we was lucky, we rode a bike and we walked everywhere. Our baby mamas might. None of our daughters know how to jump double dutch. None of that shit. T.R. know how to turn double dutch. I'm letting everybody know, too. He, he used to be out there, go grab a rope, and turn double dutch. Turn double know, dutch, man, for real. He a double dutch turner. I don't speak. And I yeah, but see, see, the guy that was turning that rope was getting all the girls. See, that, that was me. I, 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 I double dutch turner. Me and my eyes, I always hung near the girls. Always. <laughs> And I had the sister. You know when you got the sister, you got the friend that's going to spend the night. <laughs> yeah, that, that was me. I had, a, I, had a, I had like six big girl cousins. Man, I stayed with my cousin. You got the friend that's going to spend the night. Now, the downside to having the sister, you always going to have to fight when you got the sister. Yep. Yep. Because somebody hmm. going to violate. That's the downside. Unless, unless... Unless she's the big sister, which is even worse, because now your big sister got to fight for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, for being a little sister, I think I think if my brothers was here, they would tell you being a little sister is the worst. Man, my, yeah, I, had, I had a big cousin. 
My little sister had a big cousin. Nobody ever had to listen to her. We don't know. No, no, no. It ain't that we have any power, but we know how to get rid of the girls we don't like. (laughs) I had a big cousin that played mad. Female cousin. She was a basketball star, and she knew how to fight like crazy. Before I could, anytime somebody jumped at me before I could even get started. My big girl cousin whooped their ass. And I, I'm sitting there looking stupid. But she made she she protected us. She protected and them us. girls ain't never want to mess with you, right? Hey man. I nah, nah. Man, no, my big cousin used to be dudes they, up, they, huh? to fight for them. Yeah. Until they got old enough. That's the crazy part though. It when you when the power shift, because as a man, at some point you're gonna be stronger than your sister no matter what. Cause you no, be taking no. a lot of L's when you got the big sister, but when no, you no, no, no. the whole thing changed now. The yeah, big sister beat your ass. And no. and this is a worse change. I went through this when the little brother kicked the big brother ass. It's really way different now. Hey, hey, bro, I beat my big brother up one time. He he still to this day don't remember it. <laughs> he used to beat me up every day, bust my nose. I just had my nose used to bleed easy. And they would bust my nose every single day. One summer morning, he coming in the room, I'm going out, he bumped me. And I say put paws on him. He still don't remember to this day. Only time I whooped my big bro. Hmm. It's only one time I had he remember. He remember. <laughs> he remember. Trust <laughs> me, he remember. Yeah, you took it easy. Well. Growing up, we had a lot of fights, but it wasn't really a fight because he used to kick my ass all the time. Yeah, you know I mean? yeah. yeah, they wasn't fighting. What shit got different <laughs> when I really learned that? Because I used to be scared to fight on back. When I learned yeah. that I could take some punches and I could hit back, she was different. Now, I mean, my yeah, little what? brother never came outside. You know, I'm like, yo, bro, you don't even know. I'm out here into all kind of shit. You gonna watch your mouth now? Yeah. Only, all only person I, my, my, my big brother Anthony. Anthony. He was the only oh, dude I was ever afraid of. He did not think it was going to go that way. It was a whole big respect thing after that, though. But he never yeah. yelled at me no more. My mother used to get mad at me because I was bigger than my I was bigger than my big brother. She used to whip his ass dead, fight him out. Man, I wouldn't fight him back. I was too dead little nigga. Man, he was crazy. My big brother was crazy. It's a fear that we have. Even not even just with your big brother. It's just it's it's something about when you don't know. Like some people. You just not scared of them. You don't really know that you could kick their ass, but it's something that's gonna tell you it's going whatever. It's, it's the energy. Scared. It's you the energy and the tone. But then <laughs> there's certain people they just got that thing where it ain't gonna go unless they touch you. Like if they yeah. invite you to do it, you are gonna be like, eh. but if they touch you, it's go time. There's yeah, yeah. some people that you just know you can't kick their ass. That's just how it is. You just that's know. You saw them put the paws on other people. But they know you'll stab them. You you might go whoop them, but you already had you had already psyched yourself out that you couldn't win. Yeah, you do though. It, it's something yep. it's like that though. In the street is like that. There's nobody yep. that's gonna tell me there was never nobody they wasn't scared of, yep. or unless they just had like that type of uh, uh upbringing, or they just know they had people to go get. People that didn't have yep. nobody to go get moved a little different. Man, we had these these Walker brothers. It was about six brothers in every age bracket. They had one all the way up to damn near 21. Man, they used to bully the shit out of everybody. I, I, that's why I was scared of them little niggas can fight, man. Then they bank it. I'm going to drop a name right now. The LeGrants. Every last one of them wasn't tough. Every last one of them wasn't tough. No. Yeah. But that name, they used to bully you with the name. Yeah. <laughs> It, it get annoying though when they keep dropping that name at the main. Shout out to the like, LeGrands, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> man, them <laughs> damn walkers, man. They, they, they was some. They was a handful. Yeah, but some of them, you know, that was a big family though. And some, even the girls could fight, but just not yep. all of them. <laughs> I'm gonna, matter of fact, I, I covered them in the book a little bit, but I'm gonna cover. I'm gonna actually, like that whole LeGrand, uh like the history, what what made everybody, you know, the, the myth of the Legrands. Up to the day, I really don't know per se why everybody was so scared of that particular the name, and it was a lot of them. Chip, when you when you got people to go get, you understand what I'm saying? Man. It's like it's like us, you know. Some of us grew up with a lot of people in the house. Some of us grew, grew up with a few people in the house, right? Some of us grew up with four or five sets of cousins and aunts on the same block. 
It's like 15 of y'all. Yeah. So only, only five of y'all got to be able to fight. You get it's, it's no win. But y'all move together. The littlest one gonna have the biggest mouth. The one yeah. that can fight the least gonna be popping the most stuff. Man, yeah. the most man. It, it, it was the numbers I game. Man. Sisters, oh, when sisters got a brother that can fight, they just think they could just say anything they want to. You. Yeah. <laughs> See, but but that, she, I that, 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 that we came from, all you had to worry about was an ass whipping. It wasn't on the killing. You know what I'm saying? We can't be fighting, bro. get them. I'm tired of you. Go get your brother. One of us gonna get our ass kicked today. Yeah. And that's where I come from anyway. At some point, you're gonna have to fight it out. You're gonna have to fight. You go one of us today gonna have to get their ass kicked. That is mm -hmm. it. Plus, like I went through so much shit. There was so much shit going on in my house. Any given day, I was a powder keg. <laughs> you picked the wrong day to say something to me. I'm going to an emergency Man, room. My my brother just reminded me. Matter of fact, it was last night. He said, "You remember, my, man? My pops was a was a mason. He used to have big, big trash bags of weed, right? I still a crown raw bag of weed, take it to school. I'm telling everybody I'm a drug dealer. I'm about fourth grade, bro. Got this one. It got around to my brother that I had the weed. Man, this nigga called me before class, beat me up, took the weed. I'm talking about, I'm telling, I'm telling, I'm telling, mama. This nigga never gave the weed back and hung that over my head for about two years. <laughs> Real." Let me, let me tell y'all a quick story. This this is something that could be verified through any, well, not anybody, but a lot of people from FAP or anybody that went to 210. 1984, I was in the seventh grade. First school I went to when I moved to Brooklyn was 210. I ain't know nothing. I came from Corona, Queens. I knew about the street, but they street game was different. Right? We, we, we used to play 21, and then Brooklyn was playing Utah. It was the same game, but it was different. But anyway, I'm in the class. Uh, I'm real quiet. I don't know nobody. Like, I don't know not even one person in this whole school. I don't got none of my family there, none of that. I'm there. I'm in the class. This may be like my fourth or fifth day of school. Mm. All of a sudden, you know, it's always somebody that just don't like you, especially since I'm light-skinned. It's just always somebody that got to try you. So this dude, he would just keep on popping shit. Popping shit. I think his name was like Greco or something like that. Right? But once he start, like all of them was just start. It was just like five or six motherfuckers that used to just fuck with me. Every, I mean, this went on for like two weeks. Every day they was fucking with me. I think one day, like early in the morning, something happened. And my mom's had like did something to me. So I came outside on fire. Went all the way to the school. I was like, yo, any one of those motherfuckers say something to me today, the first one that say something to me, I'm going to blank out. It just so happened as soon as I get inside the school, right in the hallway, like all of them was just dead. They start surrounding me. When I say I blanked out, yo, I really just went on some real retarded shit. I just start screaming and swinging. Ah, just punching. I punched like four of the motherfuckers in the face. After that, the security came, got me up off of the motherfuckers. They was my mans every day after that. Yo, like you crazy. They start calling exactly. me. Exactly. Yo, like you crazy. <laughs> that, that happened to me and my man, but my mom moved us out of the projects. She moved us to the hundreds, which so called was the suburbs. But by us being from the projects, when we moved out there, everybody wanted to test our, you know, to touch the wrong because the projects were to be, you know, the spots. We fought. I got out there my sixth grade year. I had to fight every damn day, every day for that entire sixth grade year. But man, me, my brother, and my little cousin. You still scream my name till this day because man wasn't no quit in us and they learned. Mm. They de definitely learned, man. But we had to fight every fucking day. I never had so many fights in my life until I moved to Brooklyn. You right about that. Yo, <laughs> I fought everybody on my block. One thing about Brooklyn and, and the way it was outside, these days it's all about weapons and all that. You gonna have to fight. The pecking yeah. order have to be established. That's yeah, exactly. you to know who could be who. Shit, we talked about this. There was a lot of people back in the day that was outside. They was on the block with a lot of stuff was going on. They was not doing the same thing. A lot of people was outside getting smacked. <laughs> they was outside getting smacked. Or they'll walk every other around the block, around every other block, then they'll come down the block. Yo, yeah. they, they had dudes really, and I know, 
you could attest to this chick where you you mess with a motherfucker so much to where you just started feeling bad. You just left him alone because you felt bad. Mm-hmm. Like, my man now. I kicked your ass like 27 times for no reason. I'm going to leave you alone now. It, it was a lot and of that in our era, man. Just yeah. Talking shit. Oh, back in the days, I would know. Back in the days, you wasn't none of that. Back in the days, you was getting your ass kicked. I remember. Yeah, man. I, that's why I, I, I hate it. I hate bullies. I hated bullies, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, 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 I despise bullies, yo. Yeah. No story. You can check it out. Go up FAP. There's no stories of nobody that was just beating wise ass. That's not out there. That's not out there. And I'm live on this chat. It could be verified. Now, I ain't never going to say that I won every fight. But in those streets, my fight record is probably like 120. I can live with that. I took some else. My, my, my brother, my, 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 my best friend, he like my bro. He said, yeah. He said, man, do you realize I ain't never seen you lose a fight? It was like, but it wasn't that I was so tough. It was that, man, I was scared, bro. And that man, as soon as they come, man, I ain't, man, I just, I lost it because I, I was too, I was too scared to take a L. And then I had to look at my brothers. You know what I'm saying? That, that's why, that's what made me fight. I grew up on hit first. I grew up on hit first. Absolutely. As soon as the energy change, ain't nothing else to talk about. I'm rocking you. I'm you don't always sure. got to fight. I'm talking about when you know that is about to go down, yep. swing first. Swing first. Right. Don't stand there with your hands in your pocket yeah. arguing with nobody. I seen so many people get knocked out, not making eye contact. Yeah. You having a wrestle, you, know. you gotta watch what a person doing. I'd rather you jump the gun and uh, hit you uh, instead of get hit. Share the story with y'all, man. Like, you know, God bless you. You know, tell my, my cousin right here, tell top book, right? My mother, now just brief history. So all, all my uncles, all of them was pro and semi-pro boxers. Uh, you can pull their records up uh, from England, the big family, the, uh, uh, all, all of them. Uh, they done sparred and fought with the best of them. So my mother naturally had hands. And of course, you know, when, when your father is, is a hustler and your mother, you know, got all these brothers in it, you know, you, you had to fight. And there's one thing she school. always told us, man. She always told us, swing first and make sure you get the last hit. People don't remember what happened in the middle. Swing first and make sure, uh, whenever they break it up, that you get the last hit. you the last one that's wrong. That's the only, that that's the only thing they're going to remember about the fight. I was a little good I for that. Especially, especially if you was getting the best of me, I ain't going to lie. If we was tussling, you was getting the best of me, and they break it up, and I see a shot, I'm definitely going to take that shot. Absolutely. I'm going to get that punch. You you uh, 100 but about that. My, 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 I, I had to let it go my, again. My, my thing was, I, 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 hit, I hit a lot of people that wasn't, I wasn't even for the fight. Never gra- don't grab me. Don't grab me. Oh, yeah. Don't do grab, not me. grab me. Grab me, yo. Oh, mm-hmm. hold me when I'm fighting. Don't do yeah, that. Yeah, I'm going to turn around and air your ass out. I done hit a bunch of people that wasn't even in the fight for grabbing me. Don't man, no. Because if you grab me and I get hit, I'm going to fetch your ass up. Now, I got hit like that a couple of times from motherfuckers grabbing me. Do mm-hmm. not. You, cause you know what they like to do? They come from behind you and grab your arm to your side. But don't grab the other person. My whole Exactly. Now you don't let this dude get a hook off off of me. Now I got to get him and then turn around and get you. Too. You that that <laughs> but you know, salute to everybody in the chat, man. This is wonderful, uh, awesome conversation that we had today. Hopefully, you know, everybody learned something uh, from coming to the, coming through to the live. I'm going to check out that whole Definitely. Time. From now on, you know, if you're a person that don't like banks, uh, you know, make sure that you have a way of documenting your cash. Because you know, traveling, they can just confiscate your cash, and then you gotta go to get a cash to get your money back. Money the yeah, I didn't do it. You can get crazy, a cash check. I did and a California trip, Chip. Got to the airport, man. I had too much money. They took my money. Yeah, and they straight up just took my money, bro. Yeah, well, that's that's exactly what we covered today. Did, did you we... sign the paper? Did you sign the paper to say they can have it? <laughs> <laughs> nah, not at all. Oh, you see what I'm saying? That's what I want to know. Did you sign that paper to say I don't This is what they did. I was I used to live in California. Now when I was there, how much it was it was it was it was like almost ten bands. 
Okay. Now tell your story. It, it, when I lived in Cali, Ontario Airport was where everybody flew into instead of going all the way to LAX. Now, years later, I'm going back and I got my man meeting us from Atlanta. All of us get in, into what Ontario. Now, today. What are the two words that he said? Atlanta, mm -hmm. and California. Atlanta. In California. Now, now, Ontario today, only Spanish people come into that airport. I didn't know that. As soon as they saw blacks and then they did the connection, man, they thought they should have snatched all our ass up at us to the back up in that room and took all our money, man. We literally, before you came on, we really were just talking well, about so that. Okay. And they definitely said flying out of Atlanta, a known drug area, to yep. fly into California, another known drug area is the reason why they taking people money. That's they, took, they 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 they, they had an illusion of what they assumed we was about to do. So you never you never fought for your money. You just left it like whatever. I left it, bro. Cause man, you know how I go. Allegedly, I might have been ready to do what they was thinking I was going to do. Oh, but, but look, 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 look at what you call it said, though. You know, if you know that is illegal, you don't give yourself the headache. You just keep you know, doing it again. You know what I'm saying? So I, ain't finna, makes, man, I, I ain't finna poke the bat. That, that, no, that makes complete sense. I ain't throwing no rocks at it. You, you, that, that, you take that loss. That's part of the game. That right there is part of the game. <laughs> So I rather they I rather they lock my money up than lock me up. Then lock me up. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, man. But as again, salute to everybody on the panel. Salute to everybody in the chat, man. We can go grab something to eat. Uh, Wednesday we up here, you know, with some more fire content. Uh, we got a couple cases that we were kind of reluctant to do, but you know, we're gonna get to them. Uh, also, I'm gonna start trying to do. A, a, a positive as well as a negative one. So one where it ain't all doom and gloom and, and, and treacherous with something where it, it is more so it, it inspirational. Uh, I should mm -hmm. say. Uh, so that the, the car story was actually pretty good though. Like, cause there's a lot of people that don't know your car's recording you. Yeah, that was a good yeah. story, Chip. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, from now on, just know. <laughs> Any car that got all the bells and whistles, the 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 the, the technological pack, you definitely can Trackage. record it. Yeah, and uh, they can report that to your insurance agency, and your insurance can go up by up to eighty percent. Is wild though. Raising my insurance eighty percent off a report is wild. That's sickening. Hey, 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 big, hey, big chip. Yeah. I'm I'm gonna just have to ride down on you upside. I feel like you ain't we right up the street, bro. Listen, I'm gonna just ride this, up on you. I got your stuff right in. The, I got it in the truck with me. So you know, any given day, uh, any matter of fact, what's, what's tomorrow? Tomorrow's Tuesday. Yeah. When I get up tomorrow, I'm gonna hit you, and I I'll, I'll swing by and drop drop it to you. I got some no stuff. No doubt, man. No no doubt for sure. No doubt. But everybody, you know, salute y'all, you know, enjoy, enjoy the evening, you know, uh, get, get to some good content. Other than that, you know, we're going to get up, get up off here and it'll be the same Super Chife time, Super Chife channel. All right, all right. Salute. salute to the panel. Hey, salute, salute to everybody, man, on the panel, in the chat. Everybody be safe, man. Peace.